Hmm, what should I get? Let's see, this car has a shark on it. That's really cool. Here I could get five cars and one of them's a Batman and a penguin and a Joker. Those are so cool. Oh wait, over there, there there's Lego. There's Lego back there. Oh my goodness, I wanna get it all. <laughs> I'm so sorry, readers. Hi, welcome back to For the Love of Reading with me, Justin. As you can see, I am in a toy store. And I'm very lucky because right now, I have paid all the bills that I need to pay this month, and I have extra food in the kitchen, and so I thought I could take my extra money and come to the toy store and get something fun just for me. I'm gonna use all my money just for me. But, but wait a second, is that, is that the best way that I can use the things that I have? Hmm. My little boy just today was talking about the people that he sees in the street that, that need some help. But, but I really want a new toy. Oh, I don't know what to do. Well, in our book today, The Rainbow Fish, The Rainbow Fish has a similar problem that I have. The Rainbow Fish has lots of beautiful scales and other people are asking him for them. I wonder what he's going to do. Well, while you go listen to that story, I'm going to think about what toy I'm going to get with my money. All right, let's go find out about that rainbow fish in three, two, one, go. Hey readers, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with all of your friends and family. And now, The Rainbow Fish by Marcus Feister. A long way out in the deep blue sea, there lived a fish. Not just an ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue and green and purple, with sparkling silver scales among them. The other fish were amazed at his beauty. They called him Rainbow Fish. Come on, Rainbow Fish, they would call. Come and play with us. But the Rainbow Fish would just glide past, proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow Fish? He called, wait for me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. They are so wonderful and you have so many. You want me to give you one of my special scales? Who do you think you are? Cried the rainbow fish. Get away from me. Shocked, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset, he told all of his friends what had happened. From then on, no one would have anything to do with the rainbow fish. They turned away when he swam by. What good were the dazzling, shimmering scales with no one to admire them? Now he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. One day he poured out his troubles to the starfish. I really am beautiful. Why doesn't anybody like me? I can't answer that for you, said the starfish. But if you go beyond the coral reef to a deep cave, you will find the wise octopus. Maybe she can help you. The rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark inside and he couldn't see anything. Then suddenly, two eyes caught him in their glare and the octopus emerged from the darkness. Oh. <laughs> 
I have been waiting for you, said the octopus with a deep voice. The waves have told me your story. This is my advice. Give a glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover how to be happy. I can't, the rainbow fish started to say, but the octopus had already disappeared into a dark cloud of ink. Give away my scales, my beautiful shining scales, never! How could I ever be happy without them? Suddenly, he felt the light touch of a fin. The little blue fish was back. Rainbow fish, please don't be angry. I just want one little scale. The rainbow fish wavered. Only one very, very small shimmery scale, he thought. Well, maybe I wouldn't miss just one. Carefully, the rainbow fish pulled out the smallest scale and gave it to the little fish. Thank you, thank you very much. The little fish bubbled playfully as he tucked the shiny scale in among his blue ones. A rather peculiar feeling came over the rainbow fish. For a long time, he watched the little blue fish swim back and forth with his new scale glittering in the water. The little blue fish whizzed through the ocean with his scale flashing, so it didn't take long before the rainbow fish was surrounded by the other fish. Everyone wanted a glittering scale. The rainbow fish shared his scales left and right, and the more he gave away, the more delighted he became. When the water around him filled with glimmering scales, he at last felt at home among the other fish. Finally, the rainbow fish had only one shining scale left. His most prized possessions had been given away, yet he was very happy. Come on, rainbow fish, they called. Come and play with us. Here I come, said the rainbow fish, and happy as a splash, he swam off to join his friends. Wow. That rainbow fish, and really the octopus before the rainbow fish, had some really smart things to say about what we can do with the things that we have. I'm starting to think about those toys again. Do I really need a new toy? Probably not. Is it okay if I get a toy? Yeah. You know what? It is okay if I get a toy, but maybe I don't need all the toys and all the Legos and all the cars and all of the things. Maybe, hmm, maybe I can get a little something for me and then I can take a little of what I have left and help somebody else with that. I bet that, I bet that would be really nice and a really kind thing to do and a good way to show love. You know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get a little something for me. I'm going to get a little something for somebody else to help them out. And I'm going to save something because that's always a good idea too. Well, after I get my toy and I go help somebody else, I'm going to go get a good book. You go get a good book. We'll sit down and enjoy for the love of reading. See you next time. <laughs>